Dances separate into three components. You have the written component, which is the written exam. Um, there's a performance component and a practical, a practical activity. Within the performance, um, we look at two different dance styles. We look at contemporary um, and jazz. Um, we learn different techniques um, involving the dance styles. And the, for the final exam, you pick um, the dance style that suits you um, and you're assessed on that. In the practical activity, um, you need to choreograph a dance uh, for two other people. Um, throughout the year, we learn about the different ways that we can create movement um, and the different choreographic structures, devices and spatial elements um, that help to, to convey the theme that you've chose for your dance. And there's also a written component within this where you write a review about your dance, what your dance is about, the movements you've included um, and why you've included certain things to help to convey the theme of your dance. The written exams split into three different components. Um, the first section is knowledge of a dance style. So you learn about the background of a dance style, um, look at the different uh, steps that are involved, the different characteristics of the dance styles. Um, the next section is evaluating um, your own performance. So look at the different technical skills and performance skills that are involved um, in the dance, uh, dance styles we study. And then talking about your strengths and areas for development and looking at ways that you can improve and maintain those different technical and performance skills. The last section looks at an evaluation of a piece of choreography. So we study different pieces of choreography and look at the themes and the movements that are used in the choreography um, and how um, they've impacted on that piece of choreography. It's just National Five Dance, but there is potential for, for a higher course to run um, in the future. There's a lot of independent work within the National Five course, so developing skills at leadership and um, creating your own pieces of choreography. Um, so this could take you forward to, um, to maybe be a choreographer, um, go further and study dance at college. If you're looking to pick dance as a subject, the skills we'll be looking for is confidence in performing, because you have to perform by yourself. Um, looking for somebody who can work independently. There's an awful lot of responsibility with creating your own pieces of choreography um, and coming up with your, your own ideas. So um, maybe having a creative mind as well to, to come up with your pieces of choreography. Good communication skills, you need to be able to work with other people. Um, somebody who um, obviously has a really keen interest in dance. Um, or maybe people who don't dance outside school but, but have that interest and are wanting to improve um, in their dance technique.